people that come in my boat, I teach, I do on water training and the uh, people get so frustrated with the wind. They don't want to go in the wind. They don't want to, I mean, you get, for those of you that get backlashes, I, I never do, but um, <clears throat> you get more, you get more backlashes in the wind. You get wind knots. It's, you know, often colder when the wind's blowing. You know, there, there's, there's a lot of things that people uh, get frustrated fishing in the wind. And I want to influence you. I want to help you become better wind anglers because I'm here to tell you that wind will drive the bite. Things get easier in the wind. The strikes are more aggressive. The fish, you can get closer to them. There's so many benefits to it that you need to learn how to be a good wind angler. And why do we fish in the wind? I mentioned a couple of them. The wind drives the food chain. It stacks the plankton, right? It's gonna take that plankton and it's gonna build it up on one side of the lake. It's gonna blow it across points over top of shoals. What's that gonna do? That's gonna pile the bait fish in to feed on that. And the predators come right with it, right? So it drives that food chain. Um, it increases the strike zone on all species. When that wind's blowing, what happens is the, the riffledge, that's a term I made up, on top of the water, <laughs> it, 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 it cuts the light down. It cuts light penetration through the water. So when you get a windy day underwater, it's darker than it would be if it was slick calm, okay? So that increases the strike zone. All fish species become a little bit more aggressive uh, in that situation. It can increase the current. I'm trying to use my pointer and I can't make it shine. But uh, it increases the, the current in a lot of situations. And um, I'll give you a good example. A great example is this on Lake Champlain, drifting shoals in the post spawn for smallmouth. It's a great way to do it. The, the perch are schooled up in the post spawn and the bass blast them up on the shoals. And I had a couple, an area that just had a ton of big smallmouth in it. And I made drift after drift, you know, I'm covering these shoals and I'm throwing swim baits for smallmouth and nothing, nothing, could not get them to react. Could, nothing was happening for me. And um, I decided, okay, I, I, this is not working. I gotta go do something else. Well, I went to do something else, probably went flipping for largemouth. And then I noticed the wind started to pick up. What did I do? I went right back to those shoals and I lit up three and four pound smallmouth the rest of the afternoon. Once that wind had changed, it had given me some cover. I could get closer to the fish. It drove current, it drove the bite, activated the smallmouth, it went from catching zero to catching them every other cast, uh, just by simple change in wind. So pay attention to that. If your bank is muddied, <laughs> I think I just threw the laser out of that. If your bank is muddied, and because of the wind in the morning, and then the wind recedes throughout the day, now you can go right back to that bank because the water's now clearing up, right? And you can go back to that bank and now catch them. It becomes a, a good area to fish now. So pay attention to those changes and make the adjustment. You know, don't, a lot of you, when you don't catch them there, you can get down and out and give up on a spot. But when the conditions change, go back and give that another try. Nope, nope, I'm not done yet. Uh, sometimes the wind is so bad that you're, you got no choice. You can't fish in it. And uh, a, a couple times it's, it's happened to us up here on uh, bring Lake Champlain back into the conversation. Welcome to Bass University TV, an online video training course where you'll learn champion bass fishing techniques from pro anglers Pete Gluzek, Mike Iaconelli, and their talented special guests. From on the water to in the classroom, you'll learn sound techniques and strong fundamental bass fishing skills. Watch hours of video content on multiple topics at your own pace for a low monthly fee. Cancel at any time. Information is power in the sport of fishing. So learn from the very best. Subscribe to Bass University TV today.